um, after that session of getting the right start to a lesson uh, with Katie and Sophie, uh, I started by explaining what we were going to do during the uh, session and trying to work on the approach shot, moving into the net and hitting a volley. Um, and that went reasonably well. They got understood the explanation and uh, and the demonstrations which were there. And then uh, we started playing. I, st I started by putting them um, each on the baseline and then rallying in between with me feeding the occasional ball. Um, but they were quite inconsistent with their hitting, so the drill wasn't working properly. So uh, I switched that up so that I was the one doing the doing the feeding, and um, and passing the ball into Katie and Sophie for them to hit. Um, and then uh, and then there was one scenario uh, where. Um, um, where where Sophie hit a nice ball and I was on the stretch to hit it back and Katie was quite stagnant on the baseline and I was explaining that in that scenario where Sophie hit a good shot and I was on the stretch, Katie should have been looking to advance forward and um, and take advantage of, of me stretching and probably not hitting a strong ball back. Um, so that's what I was explaining. Um, and, but yes, they were quite, they were quite stagnant and didn't like to move much. So I was trying to also get them to relax a little bit more, um, and stay on their, stay on their toes the whole time, as well as, um, um, as well as keeping, uh, keeping, keeping side on when they were hitting the shot because they, especially Katie was quite square to start with, but by the end of the session, she was, uh, more side on when she was hitting her shots.